All right, so we have this decimal here, 1.75, and we want to get that to be a fraction. So how do we do that? The first thing we could do is we could just put it all over 1. We're just dividing by 1. We don't change anything, but now we have the start of a fraction. It'd be nice to get rid of this decimal, though. So as long as we do a mathematical operation to the numerator and to the denominator, we can do that. That's okay. So if I multiplied the top by, say, 10, that would give me 17.5. If I multiplied it by 100, that would give me 175. So let's do that. So 100 times 1.75, that equals 175, and that is a whole number. So we have our whole number here. But remember, we did this to the numerator. I have to do it to the denominator as well. Let's multiply that by 100, and we get 100 times 1 is 100, and there's our fraction, 175 over 100. And note, we can do this because 100 divided by 100, it's just 1. So we're only multiplying by 1. Don't change the value, just the way it's written. This isn't in lowest terms. And to do that, to simplify this, looks like 5 would go into both numbers here and 25 as well. So 175 divided by 25, that's 7. And then 100 divided by 25, that's 4. So we end up with 7 fourths. The decimal 1.75, that equals the fraction 7 fourths. This is an improper fraction. The numerator is bigger than the denominator. We could change that to a mixed number. 4 goes into 7 one time with 3 left over. And we just bring the 4 across. And you can check that too. 1 times 4, that's 4, plus 3, that would give us 7. That's the 7 here, and the 4, that stays the same. This is Dr. B converting the decimal 1.75 to a fraction. The answer is 7 fourths, or you could call it 1 and 3 fourths. These three things, they are the same. They're equivalent, just written a little bit differently. Thanks for watching.